decisions. The government's efforts to ensure food security in the country may be futile due to a significant reduction in the agricultural sector allocation by 33.7 billion shillings in the next financial year. In the financial year 2023-2024, the agricultural sector benefited greatly. However, the government's austerity measures in the next financial year could jeopardize efforts to increase food production due to a significant budget slash. In order to revitalize and maximize ben benefits from, from our cash crops, the government will make further in investments towards revival and enhancement of output. The backbone of the economy is at risk as the fertilizer subsidy program, crucial for boosting food production, faces a 38.2% cut from the 16.2 billion shillings allocated in 2023-2024. However, coconut farmers will benefit from an allocation of 90 million shillings, while the Blue Economy Priorities received an allotment of 2.4 billion shillings. Over reliance of the importation of edible oils and encourage local production and processing, I have proposed Kenya shillings 90 million for the coconut industry revitalization project, Kenya shillings 260 million for the national edible oil crop promotion project and an allocation to national agricultural value chain development project, which includes support for cashew nut development. The government has also shown its intent by allocating more funds for revitalizing perethrum, cotton and milk production sectors. Kenya shillings 120 million for cotton industry revitalization project and Kenya shillings 150 million for the perethrum industry recovery, 500 million for modernization of KCC milk factories and Kenya shillings 250 million for the construction of a milk factory in Narok. Coffee farmers will be paid their debts after the government allocates 2 billion shillings. I have proposed Kenya shillings 2 billion for coffee cherry revolving fund. This is in addition to Kenya shillings 4 billion allocated in the current fiscal year. Kenya shillings 1.5 billion for payments of debts owed to sugarcane farmers areas to, employee, to employees and maintenance of cane testing units. The CS has also said the allocations aim at transferring farmers from food deficits to surplus producers through input financing, subsidies and intensive agriculture extension services. In order to revitalize and maximize ben benefits from, from our cash crops, the government will make further in investments towards revival and enhancement of output. Mariam Jahid, K24 Nairobi.